I just don't get the FlyPro X-Eagle Kickstarter. Crowdfunded and pre-order drones are a problem. To me, even more of a problem when they're just advertising for something already being made in Shenzhen factories. I don't understand why people are getting excited about it. Currently, short of its goal on Kickstarter, the FlyPro X-Eagle is not a new product with groundbreaking specifications. It has startlingly similar specifications to the recently released Hobby King Quantum Follow Me drone. My money is on them being from the same factory. It brings up issues with the crowdfunding pre-order model past and present. Lily Drone bought in 30 34 million dollars in pre-orders. Lily went on to raise a further 15 million dollars in VC funding. Now China has taken note and is starting to bang out something pretty close for much less. The Hobby King Follow Me uses a big watch to control it and has camera stabilization. It has most interestingly a Sony 4K camera on board just like everyone else is using. Controlled completely by that watch and with auto takeoff, auto land, return to home, circle shoot mode, hover shooting mode, pan, and then follow me, of course. They'll follow me as user-friendly as it gets. All you do is put the watch on, tap a button, and it auto takes off and follows you on whatever it is you're driving, riding, cycling, whatever you're doing. They actually tout it as a launch and forget system. We know that the Quantum uses the open source ardupilot.org autopilot. And as such, it can be modified further. Also folds, which is very handy for transport and comes in a natty red case. The Quantum retails at $453 with everything you need and you can buy it right now. The Kickstarter Fly Pro does not fold and is expected to retail at $564. I just don't see the business case for FlyPro other than securing funding for a production run. If it's ready, then really they should just get it out there. The race to get this type of drone to market must worry the Lily Drone team and the thousands of folks that pre-ordered $34 million worth of kit. Other than being waterproof and able to throw it to launch and land on your hand, both of these new entrants do what Lily can do. Lily developers will have to sharpen their pencils. The delayed pre-order version came in at $499 with the product model currently taking pre-orders at $899. It's anyone's guess as to when they will actually arrive. There have been few, and I mean a few, successful crowdfunded drones, but they were back in simpler times. They all had features that were new. Advanced features are baked into off-the-shelf drones now. GoPro just last week delayed the launch of their new Karma drone. The sub $1,000 drone market is now a cutthroat arena. Buying into a crowdfunded or pre-ordered drone is a dangerous game that might leave you with egg on your face.